Ring the alarm, cause you know it's born. Brody be bringing the thunder like he came equipped with a storm. All of that talking, though, it ain't gon' ride, boy, this ain't a cab. No, you ain't ready, I think you should really go back to the lab. Cause you gon' lose whoever you choose, fam, I gon' put up a 50. Whether he passing or running, it's getting dotty or sticky. Yeah, he the winner and your team a loser, you better know that before you pick him. Whipping up a bumper liar, might go for a tug on the yiggles. Yeah. What up, though, man? I, hey, look, first off, I got to vent and get something off my chest, bro. So, our, it, and it has been on my mind heavy today, bro. So, R. Kelly got 30 years today, bro. And, and, and I'm ecstatic that they didn't threw this nigga under the jail, doggy bone. You know what I'm saying? Um, People been pissing me off on my timeline, making wild excuses on how they did doggy bone dirty. How, you do, how they do a pedophile dirty? And then what pissed me off the most about people, dog, we didn't knew this nigga was a pedo for about 30 years, bro. Doggy Bone married Aaliyah when she was 15, then proceeded to write a, so a hit song for her called Age Ain't Nothing But A Number. Then this nigga dropped a whole uh, sex tape peeing on a little girl. Niggas didn't knew Doggy Bone was pedo for over 30 years, and we let this nigga run rampant in the community because he could sing. Bro, I, I, like, I, like y'all might not know, but I hate R. Kelly, bro. Not even gonna lie to you, bro. I hate all pedos. And everybody in my, everybody on Facebook tomorrow, but they ain't do that to Elvis. Nigga, I don't give a damn about no Elvis either. He married a little 15-year-old. Pedo to him, too. I hate pedos, bro, if y'all didn't know. I, I got a daughter, bunch of nieces. I'm all about protecting these young girls from these sexual predators. Oh, no be it the race, bro. Unk hate pedos. I'm glad they threw our Kale's ass up under the jail. And if you and if you think that nigga shouldn't have got up under the jail, go ahead and, and unsub because this ain't the, this ain't the channel for you, doggy bone. I do life life behind bars behind my nieces and my little girl with a smile on my face. Ho oh, hi, I got 60, 60 years. You know what I'm saying? Not tripping at all. But I, I don't know why. That's been on my, my mind all day because I'm so sick of seeing niggas talking about R. Kelly got railroaded. Get that pedal off the streets, man. Yeah, let's get to the video, man. Smash the button. Sm smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new, bro. Yeah. What up, Doggy Bone? I got another banger for y'all, man. I want to guess probably the best cover two defense in Madden 23, Doggy Bone. Um, running the Zan Madden special. And I had to show it to y'all, bro, because uh, the way I run trips is a bit, I mean, trio is a bit a uh, unique type of trips. And it allows me to be effective against match coverage. But this dude, uh, Zan Madden, put out probably the best cover two, like, in the game, bro. Doggy Bone only give up, like, eight points a game on, uh, on Mutt. Here's his record in his points, four points against right there. Check him out on Twitch, bro. Incredible Twitch streamer. Dude right here runs his offense and defense. Me and him have uh, played three, four times. You know what I'm saying? All really good. No, nah, I'm going to keep it a buck. I blew him out twice. But he's a really good opponent. So, man, let's enjoy the game play, doggy bone. Yo, before we get into this game, it's only going to take me like 20 seconds. I want to show y'all the opponent that I'm playing. Y'all don't realize, I, I get rid of a lot of good game plays if they not really good games. I delete a lot of shit. I don't like uploading blowouts, but this is this past weekend league. This is my opponent ranking 19th in the, uh, uh, I mean, uh, 19 wins, ranking top 45. This is last week. Doggy Bone is going to rank somewhere uh, real nice. Let me see. Where was he at last week? 27th last week. And then I'm going to go to the monthly to show y'all for the month. He has like, how many? He's 11th in total wins this month on weekend league. So, Unky D went and got y'all a sweat, bro. I only like to bring y'all sweaty game plays, man. So, shut up and enjoy it. This should be a fun one. Madden Ultimate Team So, matchup. there go his top three. There the go, and, and there is mine. And we finna right to get... It. To the uh to the violin. So again, man, make sure y'all smashing that like button, bro. 
Subscribe if you brand new, cause we on the road to 20K of them things. Doing a 24 hour stream when I hit 20K. Y'all let me know what's the best defense y'all done faced this year or the best opponent y'all faced this year. So I already know what Doggy Bone run. Um, so I'm just coming out prepared. I already know I'm 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 on I'm two plays. I'm two plays. Cause this defense bags the hell out of the run. It bags the hell out of the RPO. And it is it, it, it's low-key hell, bro. Like Zan's cover too is hell. I think he runs it out of dime. I think dime. Um Dime two three six, I wanna say he runs it out of. And it is hell, as you can see. He gets insta shares. Like his old line, I mean D line, they cause absolute hell. So you'll see until I get like late in the game, I don't even figure out a way to keep myself balanced and um play the run. Because if they can't get field, I just make sure that I cancel out doggy bone match principles. You know what I'm saying? By having a uh four receivers on one side. So I can cancel out his match, and then I can attack those cloud flats. So right here, I get to rolling out. Hoo! Daddy, daddy. So now I hit him with the dot quick. I'm like, all right, so I don't know what the hell I'm going to do next. You know what I'm saying? Um, I can't run trio. A lot of y'all um, ask me why I don't run trio, regular trio as much. It's because match defense bags regular trio real crazy. And when you start playing better opponents who actually know how to play match, um, the, the original trio that I run gets bad really easy. So right there, he's thirding on that left side, so I can't get that cover two by him. Then he had the third uh, up the middle to take away that two. So as you can see, you can't bomb him out like you bomb the regular cover two. He got that locked up. He got the crazy O-line. He's running Zan's cover two uh, offense to a T. I've only played Zan once, and that was back in, like, October. And he ended up winning that game 10-3. to that was, That's when I realized I couldn't run regular trio. Because that's back when I used to mix up regular trio and trio offset. No, I mean, I'm sorry. That's back when I used to mix up regular trio offset and trio offset week. So then once he bagged me up crazy, I'm like, okay, I got to leave that alone. But that ain't going to stop me from throwing that daddy out of That might have been a bookie yucky. You think he deal me? So ever since ever since I played like way better opponents and they've been bagging it and they bagged the hell out of the regular trio offset, I just went crazy at my trio week. He just got my route combo on. I'm used to running one formation on, deep, on offense. It ain't no big deal to me. So right here, boom, daddy yaddy, we catch him because we know there's two thirds on that left side of the field, so that post play will work just fine. You know what I'm saying? Had he had half or like mix it up something like that, then it probably would have uh, been a lot. You know what I'm saying? Tougher, but that's when I say, bro, when you playing against good opponents, run your bombs, especially if they in a cover two shell. Run your bombs to see what type of deep uh, deep zones they got playing on the field. Because I don't score that touchdown unless I get sacked trying to run that original cover two bomb a few, a few plays before. You got, sometimes you're going to take a couple sacks trying to figure out what a nigga doing out here, doggy bone. So right here, I already see he got leapfrog on him. I know he's in single, uh, single back bunch X nasty. So I'm like, oh, well, I'm blitzing you because I'm not going to allow you to be under center, have to go through the three to five step step drop. I know Bunch X Nasty has some play action plays in there. A lot of people don't cancel the play action plays in there. So I'm a send pressure, bro. You either gonna have to cancel your drop back or just cancel the play action at all. So right here, you'll see me put the flat on the field because from playing him, I know he likes to run a lot of flats. I got really, like, my, my the run D for me is really good against a bunch of nasty You know what I'm saying? You see they got the wide zone. It's nothing but a stretch to the weak side of the field. Right here again, I put the flat on the field. You know what I'm saying? He motions over right here. And then I'm like, okay, let me see what he's doing because maybe he's changed because we played so many times. So he runs verticals. The thing about this verticals play that's so crazy, you'll see the vertical kind of peels off when the player comes up. It peels off to the left. You see how it does that? 
So I'm like, okay, bet. He motions over. He's running verticals. What I'll start to do, I'm not going to do it now because I don't want him to uh, see the adjustment that early because he's already in the red zone. As you can see, we sit in the seven. He keeps the play action. He takes the save. So I'm already in the red zone. So I'm like, okay, all I'm going to do is next drive, I'll put the adjusty out there. This time I go purple. Um, and he picks up the pressure as I knew he would. The purple plays really well. And watch this retarded shit first. Oh, never mind. It's not retarded. I went for a hit stick. Okay. Never mind. I don't. When I was playing the game, I didn't realize who I clicked on. So I thought this nigga Haynes just fell on the ground. Yep, makes sense. I mean, I'm a hit stick horse, so I'm going to go for the hit stick every time. So that's a fluke touchdown. Don't really count to me. You know what I'm saying? Don't really count. I don't. You ain't. You're not gonna stop a ton of good players on the on, on your first drive anyway. You know what I'm saying? Your first drive, low key, you should always score on your first drive. If you get stopped on your first drive, bro, something wrong with you, man. You 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 probably finna get your ass whooped, doggy bone. For real, for real. Dog finna punish you with the route combo. You suck at the game. You know what I'm saying? Very rarely do you get stopped your first drive and you end up winning that game. Especially if they get ball at half. Because now technically you're down two positions. So right here again, you're going to see I'm going to try to run the ball again. Oh, look at me. I'm for him. I want to have some sort of balance on offense. Lame ass niggas. Instant shed. Now, he has inside zone. I am double teaming that inside zone. He's, and then I'm ID Aaron Donald, who I think has an inside zone also. But his defense, they shed so well up the middle. So I roll out again. I'm canceling out his match principles. So that hook that he has in the middle of the field, it ain't matching my post. How it usually, how it uh, did the first time I played against Doggy Bone. You know what I'm saying? This isn't Zan for y'all wondering. This is just a clone who runs Zan, he subscribed to Zan. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure he be in his Discord joints. Look, I'm gonna keep it a buck. If you don't want Ump to get you right on defense, Zan for sure could get you right on defense, bro. Zan be laughing. And, and, and any of y'all know me, Unk ain't laughing, shit. I ain't doing it. But Zan be laughing hours in the lab. He laughed on a beta. This nigga crazy, man. As we dot him up, uh, we dot up uh, his protege right here. Zam be laughing, bro. I don't laugh. So if you don't want Unk to get you right on defense, man, go uh, check Zan out on Twitch, bro. He, he I, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know how I give it up, bro. If, if, if a nigga cold out here, man, a nigga cold out here. Zan, Zan defense is crazy, bro. Especially how he runs. Of course, he runs it better than the guy I'm playing. But, you know what I'm saying? I've never played Doggy Bone but that one time. And I had... Hold on. And I had no clue who Dog was back then. So I didn't even record the game plan. We haven't matched up 16. We matched up once. But I've been lagged out the game, bro. So that's the only time we've ever matched up in like, you know what I'm saying? I actually want that game again to bring it to y'all So right here, I see him click on the old line, so I already know it's a run. So I'm like, cool, that's what I'm prepared for. He go ahead, run the ball, no problem, hit stick, boom. Everybody knows it. Clicking on the old line. If you see somebody scrolling and it goes on the old line, it's 100% a run. It's not like that on Madden 23, though, just so y'all know. So right here, he motions. Now, what I do is I outside quarter Metcalf. So now all I, well, he checks down to the wheel route. So when I outside quarter Metcalf and shade outside, he's going to match Metcalf and play that deep uh, that deep vertical route that kind of splits left. So you'll see that's, that's my adjustment for the remainder of the game. DK on the solo side, I'm an outside quartering, and then I'm going to send the pressure at he gonna either hey, he gonna have to cancel them play actions, he gonna have to cancel his drop back, his three to five drop back or something. Cause if not, we scream. And like I keep telling y'all, man, especially this year, pressure make niggas uncomfortable. So you'll see right here again, I do the same exact thing. Really good adjustments. I'm gonna pick up Gronk. 
right there. He throws it in coverage, and he gets bailed up. Now, look, a lot of y'all say, Unc, you got to swat. This is why I don't swat. Man, that shit don't be working. And I paused it, even though it was my fault. I should have went for the picky D, but I tried to be smart. Oh, I'm going to swat the ball and get in good field position. <laughs> look at this dumb ass sticking his hand out. Hey man, I gotta stop listening to people, bro. So again, he runs it right there, right here is where I'm like, okay. So he's he he found he, he just broke a big run. So I'm, I wonder if he gonna stick with this count, or is he gonna go to the pass? Because I'm even though I have good run D on the field, I'm pass committed. I'm playing for the pass because to keep it a buck. A uh, bunch of guys who don't got really crazy runs out of it. So I hook curl there just uh, just in case he uh, motions the drunk across the field. He runs the counter again and scores. You know what I'm saying? He makes it, what, 14 14 right here? No biggie, I get ball at half. Do I get ball at half? All right, y'all. So coming back out, my goal is to try to come out here and get three. You know what I'm saying? Actually, seven, but I'll I'll take three. Three makes it a back and forth game for me. Right here, I take the check down. Um, what I noticed is he was sending three a lot. I got secure protectors on the outside, and then I have three post ups on the inside. So if you send three against me, you'll never shed. Yeah, that's a lot. Niggas be shed. But it gives me the opportunity to roll out. And for me, I roll out to change the angle on passes a lot. Again, I'm going back to that cover two bomb to see what it gives me. Right there, he does shit. I got to stop saying stuff, bro. I literally just said, you sent three against me. You'll never shed me. Nigga insta shed me and, and, got to, and got to beat my ass with, with the saccharoni. So he puts me in a tough situation. He sends three again. Secure protector. I roll out. That was actually really, really good defense right there. Um, I'm not really even. I think that hook actually matched on crazy to that drag route and, and followed doggy ball and all across the field. So again, this is the play I hit him with the touchdown on. Cancel his match principles right here. I step up. What you away from me? I'm waiting to see what he did. That guy in the middle. I wanted to run off rip. But I wouldn't get as much yards for a field goal. So I wanted to see if he would keep following with that post route. I mean, that slant route. Or if he would match on somewhere else. And he ended up matching that hitch route. So the moment he made a D-line for the hitch, I climbed the pocket. And then I just took off. You know what I'm saying? Put myself in field goal range right here. I'm just going to throw the ball away. And I'm going to take my three now. They gave us the free 99 kickers with 852 kick power. So I'm about to boot this. I'm finna Timberland in this hole. Robin, Robin, close the door. And Tucker's kick right there. It's good. That just don't respect. She like she don't respect her. She be running through the house playing Baby Shark and all type of shit, like trying to get me demonetized. All right, y'all. So I, I edited out the last second of the video with just him trying to throw a bomb. He took a sack. No biggie. Back here on the same thing, outside corner in that solo side because I know uh, that that bomb uh, it'll destroy a third. Um, it gets over a half too, so we just sending the crib right now and we playing match coverage. Still playing match coverage even though we blitzing the crib. Don't worry about how I'm doing it, just shut up. So again, right here, I back shine T up a little bit. I put that guy in the outside quarter again. He moves over Gronk. I low key forget to shade outside, bro. So we, I forget to shade outside. He doesn't run him on that. He actually runs Gronk on the corner. And because I'm playing match coverage, Sean takes that left side corner route. I think it was, or it might have been a wheel. I wouldn't really pay attention. I take the left side corner route. Because Gronk is my responsibility when he motions across the field. I think it's right here. I, 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 I think I forget to quarter. So right here, he just comes out and... uh. Uh, RPO. I think he was just like, I thought he was just going to pump me the ball. Like, because why would you run uh, a power of RPO on third and 28? I'm thinking Doggy Bone just going to pump me the rock. 
but he's going for it. So I'm like, okay, he kind of messed me up with the flip, but I'm like, all right, I ain't really going to worry about it too much. So right here, I, I outside quartering, but I forget to shade him. I forget to shade him, man. And we still, and then this happens. He still plays good D, though. This is not the play I forget to shade him, man. I think I did shade him right there. Oh, my God, man. I'm sorry, y'all. I did shade right there. It's coming up where I forget to shade, doggy bone. But all right, so we back in the red zone against this cover two that I still have not figured out how to run or do anything but throw that deep ball on because the sheds are so crazy. So in this area of the field, I'm going to run the ball three times, kick three, or get a touchdown. I'm not passing because I haven't really figured out how to dot up this match cover two in the red zone. You know what I'm saying? It's really good and it gives me headaches. So right after this, what I do is I remember something Rain said. Rain said that the read option can be better a, um, a better run than the inside zone. Cause there was some shit about uh, the inside zone having to pull block while the why the, the read action is hat on hat. So go ask Rain what 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 he had said it. Go ask him, cause I don't remember. I just remember Dog said it. And then, so I run the read option, and it's wide the hell up. So shout out my dog, Ray. Because so, I remember when he said it last year when he was talking about the read option compared to the inside zone. I don't remember nothing the nigga said. Nathan. I just remember he said that they do had on half blocking. You know what I'm saying? W remember. All right, so back on defense, man, nothing's pretty much changed. He's going to uh, strong, I mean, single back deuce close. I got good single back deuce close defense. I'm not really too much worried about anything. as just rolled and covered. That shouldn't have been a pick also. But I'm happy about the type of defense we playing. Like, he, he, he's extremely uncomfortable. He's not, it feels like he's not having the time to hit his check downs. That run's not going to uh, work consistently for you, Doggy Bone, because I did not pass to him right there. So my, uh, my boys, they ran right through, said, come here, man. Let us kill you a tiny little bit. So right here, um, I go ahead. I, I set my defense up the same way I've been setting it. I'm shading, doing what I got to do. And uh, sack a Rooney. Sack a Rooney. Yeah, you got to drop back in that pocket, Doggy Bone. And by the time you finish your three-step drop you you six feet in the dirt so right here at fourth and 20 this is where I forget to shade I think this is the play yeah because as you see boom he creates the separation right there and then I I, I don't know I just go bro I be having hopes and dreams man I'll be doing stuff sweet but for what I but like I just forgot to shade bro because what I was thinking in my head was did I want to just play at the sticks because I knew he had a corner out on that left side. So I'm like, let me just play at the sticks, have to have Sean just chilling around the 20 yard line. But then I didn't play at the sticks because I'm like, I don't want this going to cancel on match principles if I do. I think if you play at the sticks, it cancels match principles. So I'm going back and forth in my head whilst making my adjustments and I didn't. All right, so back on defense. It's 24-21, but I'm going to keep it a foul while. I feel like I didn't play good defense. Ain't that crazy? You ever, like, have somebody been scoring on you, but it don't feel like they really been scoring on you, bro? Like, that's how I feel. I feel like the first play, his first touchdown was some BS. His second touchdown, don't remember it. Third touchdown, BS, because I forgot to say. And on all three drives, he's thrown me a book, at least. I didn't catch it. But that's just how the game goes. So coming back out, I'm just going to stick to what I'm doing. Curl flat. He ain't shown to stop it. I'm going to step up in the pocket. And I'm going to slide so he don't die. You know what I'm saying? He's not spying anymore because when he spies, he's sending three. And that's allowing me to get outside of the pocket. And I'm, I'm only rolling out to change the angle of the throw the crosser. You know what I'm saying? Allow, if you roll out and throw that crosser, it allows you to pass lead it up the field more right there again i go to the read option no more inside zone because i realize against this set the read option happens to be a little bit more successful you know what i'm saying all the time this, i'm the inside zone but you know what i'm saying shout out right so right here i, I noticed he's using an air read i'm like this nigga's a major. 
So I'm instantly rolling out, and then I gauge wrong how much space is there. Now, now I threw a book that should have been picked. The only reason it didn't get picked because I clicked on the Randy Moss and I pressed Y. Y gives you really good animation. That spec catch gives you really good animation on the ball, and especially against a midget like him, I animated in front of him. He, 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 he had contact, so I dropped the ball. But it's still, I was playing defense right there. I didn't click on that whole Y to get the catch. I clicked on the hell Y because I knew it would give me a better chance of getting a drop pass animation instead of a pick animation that would have worked in his favor. So that's why I went wide catch right there because I threw a book. So here, back on defense, I mean back on offense, I had that crosser again because I know he got those two thirds there. So that uh, that post out of PA club is going to be there. Coming back, I'm, I'm four down territory regardless of what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I'm going back to the curl flat. He, and a lot of y'all like probably wonder, yo, why you don't run the wheel route? This nigga got really, really like that that cover two bags that hell out the wheel route. And I wanna say I ran a wheel route at some point um, in this game and he bagged the hell out of it. You know what I'm saying? It was in the first half if y'all uh, remember saying it. But he already bagged the hell out the wheel. So right here I'm gonna go back to that deep post. I wanna say I left the play action on here just to get his user to uh, sit in the middle of the field for a little bit. That way he doesn't get back in time and I can throw it. I think I had the streak on the left side of the field wide open. Boy, let's just say he was going to cover for my own mental health. So right here, I'm just a first down away from winning the game. I'm not going uh, inside zone. Corrine has said something, something, something. Inside zone be better with the hat on hat. I don't 100% remember what he said, but it's been working, so I'm sticking with it. Instead of getting blown up in the backfield, I'm getting four, five yards of pop. You know what I'm saying? One first down puts this game away from the end. Give it a buck. I'm not doing nothing but running the ball right here. Nothing but running the ball. Again, three yards. We are taking. Now I'm in a third and two. I got two downs to get a first. I'm not kicking three. Because DK has been mossing the DK. DK been mossing the nigga up crazy. Hella sauce on. So it's no point in doing so. So uh, here we go again. Boom, run the ball, huge gap, pick up the first down. Essentially, we kind of see We seal the game. We ended up winning that, boy. Shout out to user pick, AJ. Really good opponent. Uh, consistently in the top one, I know. A weekend league, man. But appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. Hope you all enjoyed this gameplay. And I'm out, doggy bone. Peace.